Hey, Harley and Dark Bowser, we are all going to the movies to see Spider-Man 2 since me and Pac-Man wanted to see that movie. But, Sonic and Pac-Man, we hate Spider-Man 2. Besides, that movie is so boring as heck. Yeah! I agree with Dark Bowser. We would rather see Sausage Party instead of this crappy Spider-Man movie. Guys! We are not seeing Sausage Party today. We are seeing Spider-Man 2 and that's Final Boys. Let's go right now. Okay. Are you ready for that movie? Okay. City, right? Yeah, that's really cool, man. Well, wanna watch funny video compilations? Well, sure. Let's watch something funny. Hey, look, Cream, they are going to wiggle their ears like dwarfs. Watch. Oh my god. That's so funny when Kaiu and Big Ear and Chuck wiggle their ears. Hey, Tails, wiggle your ears. I wanna see it. Well, Okay, Cream, watch my ears. They are starting to wiggle right now. Watch. Wow, Tails, you are so adorable and cute when you wiggle your ears. Well, thank you so much, dear Cream. Hello, welcome to the movies. What movie would you like to see? Can we have four tickets to see Spider-Man 2 please? Here's your tickets, enjoy the movie. Thank you so much Kirby Gorillas Fanatic 2000. No problemo. No way. We are not seeing that stupid movie. Harley and Dark Bowser, Quiet Mouths. The previews are starting right now. An experiment beneath the sea to challenge the unknown. When the forces of nature erupt. The ocean floor opens up, hurling five men and one woman 15 miles straight down to a place that exists on no map and yet holds the key to man's future. Latitude Zero. Where the past merges with the present to predict the future. The Alpha launched June 21st, 1805. Since you question everything, I don't expect you to believe there's so much of anything else you're about to see. I am 204 years old. The Alpha is northeast of you, and course for latitude zero. Those are torpedoes. Sage missiles. Well, do something, will you? At Latitude Zero, good battles evil, using the incredible weapons of tomorrow. Activate your elevation belts. I've seen pictures of the moon that looked a lot more inviting. Right. Say, Captain, you ever been here before? First time. Oh, that's great. How do we find Dr. Okada? We'll have to search. Could be in that tower. Live an adventure beyond your wildest imagination as mankind fights for its very survival. <laughs> Share every exciting moment of the incredible world of Latitude Zero, where man's future explodes 15 miles beneath the Earth.
was like a thousand years ago. I fought my way out of that cave, became Iron Man. Realized I loved you. I know I said no more surprises, but I was really hoping to pull off one last one. The world has changed. None of us can go back. All we can do is our best. And sometimes the best that we can do is to start over. All these people die. I keep telling everybody they should move on. Some do, but not us. Even if there's a small chance, we owe this to everyone who's not in this room to try. We will. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. I like this one. <laughs> Miles! Yeah! Gotta go! If you want me to drive you, we gotta go no, now. Dad, I'll walk. Personal chauffeur going once. It's okay. <laughs> Seriously, Dad, walking would have been fine. Breaking news, Spider-Man saves the day again. Spider-Man. This guy swings in once a day, zip zap zap Nancy. Oh, no. Accountability. Dad, speed up, speed up. I know, you know these kids. No miles, man, you get arrested? Guys, don't cops run red lights? Well, yeah, some do. But, uh, not your dad. In your universe, there's only one Spider-Man. But there is another universe. It looks and sounds like yours, but it's not. My name's Miles Morales. Hey, kid. You're like me. How? I knew my day would come around this time. I know it's complicated. Just had to get my soul and free my mind. You want to know what happened to you? I can teach you to be Spider-Man. Mm, I love this burger. So delicious. Mm, one of the best burgers I've ever had. You have money, right? I'm not very liquid right now. I think you're going to be a bad teacher. How am I supposed to save the whole world? You can't think about saving the world. You have to think about saving one person. One thing I know for sure, don't do it like me. Do it like you. Brooklyn! Who's gonna stop us now? Say, hey, I'm all in, I'm all in. I ain't worried about a loss or a new friend. Never worried about a fraud or a new bitch. And all stuff, I ain't worried about a process. I see this spark in you. It's amazing. Hands up! Whatever you choose to do with it, you'll be great. I love you, Miles. Yeah, I know, Dad. You gotta say I love you back. Dad, are you serious? I wanna hear it. You wanna hear me I say it? I love you, Dad. You're dropping me off out of school? I love you, Dad. Look at this place. Dad, I love you. Dad, I love you. That's a copy. Time to swing, just like I taught you. When did you teach me that? I didn't. It's a little joke for team building. Hey, guys. Okay, who are you? I'm Gwen Stacy. Come on. How many more spider people are there? Save it for Comic-Con. What's Comic-Con? Let's go! Whoa.
Did you ever make anything happen? Anything you couldn't explain? You're a wizard, Harry. I'm a what? Dear Mr. Potter, we are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. In a few moments, you will pass through these doors and join your classmates. Good afternoon, class. Welcome to your first flying lesson. Stick your right hand over the broom and say up. Up! Wow! Salongbottom, exactly where do you think you're going? Knight to E5. That's wizard's chess. Mr. Potter, our new celebrity. First years should note that the dark forest is strictly forbidden with no magics to be used between the classes and the corridors. That was bloody brilliant. The third floor corridor is out of bounds to everyone who does not wish to suffer a most painful death. This complicates things a bit. Understand this, Harry, because it's very important. Not all wizards are good. I'm going to bed before either of you come up with another clever idea to get us killed. Or worse, expelled. She needs to sort out her priorities. You'll be okay, Harry. You're a great wizard. Got a little surprise for you, son. No, 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 Dad! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, I am. You're not getting a Porsche. <laughs> Let me tell you something, son. A driver don't pick the cars. Mm -mm. The cars pick the driver. It's a mystical bond between man and machine. civilization far superior to our own. Our enemy can take any shape. They could be anywhere. It's a robot. You know, like a super advanced robot. It's probably Japanese. No, 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 no!
At last, science fiction creates the ultimate man, Inframan. And a motion picture creates the ultimate spectacle. Adventure beyond your wildest imagination with the man beyond bionics. Six million light years beyond believability. Is he man or machine? Electronic circuits integrated with living cells in the living body of a man. Powered by nuclear energy. Man, you won't believe your eyes. You won't believe your ears. You won't believe your mind. Now, Joseph Brenner brings you the most advanced product of bionic science. Towering above them all. Thunderbolt fists. Rocket feet. Can Inframan survive heat that melts rock? Cold that freezes fire. Is Inframan a match for men of steel? A motion picture that will stagger your imagination. Inframan, the ultimate in science fiction. The year 2000. America is a vast speedway. People line the streets to witness the greatest drivers on earth in a race from sea to shining sea. This is a death race. You finish first, or not at all. Death Race 2000. Every car a deadly weapon. Every spectator a potential point. It's a cross-country road wreck, and the traffic is murder. Who are you, anyway? Best driver on Earth. I don't want you to die. He was built by the world's finest surgeons to drive the fastest car ever designed, and nothing can stop him now. Death Race 2000, rated R. No change has been reported in the condition of 53-year-old delivery man Hubert Flynn, who last night in his three-bedroom home at St. Peter's Crescent, Kimmage, turned into a rat. I see he's a white rat. Of course he's a white rat. Yeah, but... It would be we... very unnatural for a white man to turn into a black rat. This was to be a heartwarming story. Hubert, go to your room. Of a man who became a rat. You can see the likeness all the same and a family who stood by him in love and loyalty. You don't think it'll strain him? Ah, no. I have none wood. Alas, it was not to be. A book. A book about Hubert. First a book, then a film. A film of the book? And then a book of the film. But will it be a mystery? I'm coming for you, you black devil. Well, you have mysterious bits. Not the queer one now. 
The worst of all is not knowing the minute of the hour he's going to do it again. I've got a feeling there's worse to come. So what should we do, son, as a Catholic family? I think we should kill him. I think in many ways he's improved. He has more hair for a start. No, I want you to know you'll always be welcome in the family home. Never lose the taste. I'll get him out, Matt. He'd be drowned. Desperately. Oh, we'd have to get him home and draw him out. It'd be a heartwarming story of the tenderness and heartbreak. Stop that, Ross! The joy and sadness. I think it suits him. And the tears and laughter. <laughs> like born free. We don't let. Having a quiet Christmas, are we? I'm oh, very quiet, Doctor. One year ago, he learned the truth. You're a wizard, Harry. And his first year at Hogwarts school became legend. And so, for Harry Potter and his friends, another year begins. Black and Pat's a menace. The education in the magical arts continues. Pixies. Laugh if you will, Mr. Finnegan. See what you make of them. No! Old rivalries grow stronger. Slytherin's got a new secret. And I'm sorry. You nearly get me, Potter! And something in the school's dark past will be awakened. The Chamber of Secrets has indeed been opened. Unless the culprit is caught, it is likely the school will be closed. Harry Potter must go home! Oh dear, we are in trouble. Here's the plan. You disguise yourselves as Crab and Goyle. Are we going to drink that? Yes. Harry? Ron. Excellent. On November 15th, Warner Brothers Pictures presents... How dare you steal that car! The next chapter of Harry Potter... Where the past will return, and the struggle for the future of Hogwarts will begin. <laughs> Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Let us hope Mr. Potter will always be around to save the day. Don't worry, I will be. within the uncharted depths of waters surrounding a group of islands off the 50th parallel lies man's most formidable challenge. The awesome awakening of prehistoric monsters long thought extinct. Savage and deadly, their one hope is to rule our planet as they once had thousands of years back. Giant against giant. The ultimate battle. Godzilla versus Megalon. Science was baffled and powerless. A terror-stricken humanity knew that it was on the brink of total destruction. A once proud civilization now had to place its trust and hope in Godzilla and his powerful ally, Robot Man. In concert, they would fight this evil in a duel to the death. Battling by day, battling by night, it was more than a race against time. This war was an all-out effort whose ultimate purpose was to save our planet from total destruction. 
Now came the moment of truth. The ultimate battle. Titan against Titan. Giant against giant in the most spectacular battle yet. You'll see it all in Godzilla versus Megalon. I see a little silhouette of a man Scaramouche, Scaramouche, will you do the Fandango? Thunderbolt and lightning Just outside of Chicago Galileo 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 In the basement of this house It's Wade's World, Wade's World, party time, excellent Broadcast history is about to be made Extreme close-up, Whoa! I want you to find out who these guys are and where they do their show. What is this? Mr. Vanderhoff, this is your audience. It's two chimps on a Davenport in a basement. Here I am with the contract for $5,000. Excuse me? No, they're on their way. No way. Way. To fame. Will you still love me when I'm in my carbohydrate sequin jumpsuit? Young girls in white cotton panties, bloated, purple, dead on a toilet face. To fortune. Contractor knows. I will not bow to any sponsor. To babe heaven. Shoo! Arri, 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 arri. What do you do if every time you see this one incredible woman, you, you think you're gonna hurl? I say hurl. If you blow chunks and she comes back, she's yours. If you spew and she bolts, it was never meant to be. Okay. It's Wade. This is definitely the type of place I'm gonna get when I move out of my parents' house. It's God. I love you, God. If she were a president, she'd be Abraham Lincoln. It's a movie. We're not Wayne's World. Highway. It just might be the greatest motion picture ever made. Are you mental? The has a devil put aside for me, for me. America introduced them to baseball. The Japanese adopted it as a way of life. But that was before the Bad News Bears go to Japan. Now, the most successful kids in movie history leave America and set out to conquer the world. It's all right, guys. Take off your shoes. Can we take them to our room? Now, please? how do I know? Do I look Japanese? What do I do about the sh tennis shoes in my bag? Put them in your purse. What? Marvin, if I take off my shoes, I'm going to get an athlete's foot. Well, that'll be the only part of you that is an athlete. <laughs> and before they're finished, the greatest little team in the world will think it just went through World War III. Demolish the great American pastime at home. We're in there, baby! Now watch what happens when they strike out in the land of the rising sun. Yes! Out! Gracias. And now they've started a worldwide epidemic of hilarity as they take on a new culture. It's very weird and unsanitary. Get involved in high finance. Two and a half percent of profits. Yes, two and a half percent. Everybody gets two and a half percent of profits. Well, it should be five. What? Five? What are you talking about? John Wayne gonna get five. Learn the facts of life. You have to get naked. Uh, well, not completely, no. That's good, because now my babies ain't getting naked no how. I ain't no fool. You're certainly not. Fall in love. And tackle Japan's national hero. <laughs> Take it easy. Not easy. Tony Curtis takes charge of America's wildest export. I'll get him, Marvin. When the bad news bears go to Japan. No 
way. We are not seeing Spider-Man 2. That movie was so retarded. Harley and Dark Bowser, we are watching Spider-Man 2. So, watch the movie right now boys. No. We wanted to see Sausage Party. Harley and Dark Bowser. We are not watching Sausage Party. We are seeing Spider-Man 2 so watch the movie. Well, you know what? That's it. We are seeing Sausage Party and that's final. Screw you. What the heck was that all about, Pack? Cat! You're all alive and looking at me with your... with your gloves! Oh man, your, your that scene was so funny. So, let's watch the rest of the movie, shall we? Dark Bowser. Great. Let's watch the rest of the movie. Fuck! You ate my goddamn legs! Oh no, not Mr. Pizza! Oh fuck! I've eaten so many of your family members! I've committed pizza genocide! Oh no! It's Sonic and Pac-Man. That's right, Harley and Dark Bowser. How dare you ditch from Spider-Man 2 to Sausage Party? You know that movie is rated R. You know we hate that movie. That's it. We are going home. Sonic is right, boys. Let's go home right now. Okay. Harley and Dark Bowser, how dare you ditch from Spider-Man 2 to Sausage Party. You know that movie is rated R. You know you two are too young to watch that movie. That's it. You are grounded, 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 grounded until Kirby Gorilla's from Attic 2000 reaches 2000 subscribers. Go to your room right now. And don't come out until we say so. Hey boys, what's up? Oh. Hey Tails and Cream. Oh. Nothing much Sonic and Pac-Man. We're doing great. Thank you. Hey. We saw a funny video about two people wiggling their ears. Can you wiggle your ears, Sonic? Well, of course I can wiggle my ears. Watch. Wow. You are so cool that you wiggling your ears, dude. Yeah. You're my best friends, guys. Thanks. That's very...